Well, the order's right about one thing. First comes Source, then comes Void Woken. Am I the lone survivor? Well, thanks, disembodied voice. And uh, here we are on the the coast of Fort Joy. It looks like there has been a bit of a shipwreck here. Um, we did loot most of the ship, so there's probably not a, not a lot left. Uh, it's quite a beautiful landscape here. Let's start having a, a little bit of a walk around and see what we can find. You've discovered a waypoint. Fleeing combat will bring you back to the nearest waypoint. You can also quickly travel between waypoints. That is good to know. Let's have a look at the map. So. Looks like it's, uh, it's quite a large area here. There's a, looks like a bit of blood on the ground over there and there's a Fort Joy Beach. Okay. Oh, there's a shell, I missed that. How am I supposed to see these things? There's a shell? There is? Oh my goodness, there's a little shell there that we could find. I had no idea. Uh, we've got some short sti uh, short sticks, some whisper wood over there as well. Sight range indicator. There are enemies ahead. Press left shift to see the enemy's sight range. You can sneak into the transparent red areas by pressing C. Uh, left shift, was it? Let's go and grab the, the whisper wood and a uh, short stick is uh, somewhere. There it is. How am I supposed to see these things? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, let's go and check out the barrel over here. <clears throat> see if there's anything inside. I've got to keep an eye on this map up here as well just to see where where I'm headed. Now there were some some enemies up ahead. Oh, there's more void woken. Oh, there we go. Okay. So they can't see me void behind. Woken. Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. Damn, they made it to shore. What happens if we sneak? Oh. Hold it. What the? <laughs> I turned into... <laughs> I've got a big rock on my... Uh... <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I don't really think we need to sneak. We're just going to go in for the attack. I think we can take them out uh, pretty easily here. We're going to start... Uh... I could raise the bloated corpse. There we go. It's got a fair, a fair distance there. Um, this thing is going to help us out. I may even just run behind the rock here. Can I just hunker down or something? Can I sneak? Oh, I need I need more action points to sneak. I'm not sure how many I need to sneak, but uh, I could use the mosquito swarm. Oh, they're out of range now. Uh, never mind. Okay, so that does tell me how many action points I need. One action point there. The mosquito costs two. I'm just going to stay here. I'm going to end the turn here. Uh, we've got the bloated corpse now and see if we can kill these things in one shot. Let's explode. These ones seem stronger than the ones I... Oh, they've got 24 health. Okay, we're just going to take a few shots here. We should be able to take them down with a dagger. Just going to move back a little bit. Just see if I can reduce the amount of times that they can hit me. What the heck? Why is that thing calling my name? There's a third one uh, around here somewhere as well. Okay, let's finish this one off. He had one health point left. Let's finish him off. Uh, let's take out the other one here as well. Yeah. 
No, no, misclick. Damn it. I thought these bloody collars were supposed to keep those things at bay. Whew. Okay, we are currently in chapter two at the moment. As I drowned, I heard a mysterious voice. The voice seemed to save me, but where did it come from? And why am I important to it? Okay, chapter two. We can take a quick look and uh, see what this is about. Escape from Reaper's Eye. Something was amiss on the transport ship that carried me to Fort Joy. A sorcerer transportee was found dead. And our Magister handlers were on edge. Eventually, the killer was revealed, a sorcerer witch who had seemingly lost her mind. She remarked that I was unique somehow, unique enough to warrant her killing me also. She summoned a huge waterbone void worker and that began to attack the ship and kill all on board. I had to take my chances on the open sea. On the verge of drowning, a strange vision came to me, a powerful presence and an oddly familiar voice. I stated that it was not my time to die. Uh, it stated that it was not my time to die, for I still had a great task before me. Now I awaken on the shores of Reaper's Eye, with Fort Joy looming ahead. It must have been blind luck that I survived, surely. Why would someone like me benefit from divine intervention? So I wonder if the other characters are dead, or if we're going to find them uh, out here somewhere. I thought, I don't think the corpses have anything on them, but I thought there was a third. Oh no, maybe it's just the um, uh, the way the turn sequences go. I thought there were three, but there was there were only two. I was only being attacked by two. Look at all this blood. This is ridiculous. There's so much of it. Magister Jalen. Magister Jalen. He wasn't so bad on the ship, at least. Poor fella. Okay, at least there's another uh, healing potion here. Uh, let's transfer all. Does my health regenerate after the combat? Does it immediately regenerate? It seems like it does. Because I thought I took a, a fair amount of damage there. Can I step out into the water? I am wet. I'm currently wet. Okay. Leather scraps. How am I supposed to see these things in this... <laughs> where, where are these leather scraps? Holy moly. Okay, there they are there. Let's just have a look and see if there's anything else around. I may be able to turn those leather scraps into some kind of armor. Uh, well, this shell I can see. That's big enough to see. Uh, what else do, have we got? There's another shell uh, hiding behind the tree over here. Let's go and collect a few of these things. There's uh, some kind of a banner here. Crafty weaponry. Die by the sword. L used to learn about crafting. Beautiful. Uh, there is another crate. And uh, there, there always may be some secret uh, paths along here as well. You never know. Can I get actually get through here? No, I don't think so. The Source Hunters, valiant though they were, could not have foreseen Brachus' resurrection at the hands of the Cult of the Immaculates. The Source King is dead, yet his monuments still dot the land, a chilling but necessary reminder of his legacy of cruelty, greed, and arrogance. Uh, where is the craft crafting book? I really need some way to sort out my inventory. Books and keys, here we go. Um, Captain's note. Did I not just pick up... Did I not pick up that crafting book? What am I doing? I didn't pick up the crafting book. Okay, now we've got it. Let's... Oops. Tactical camera. 
Okay, so we're straight uh, top-down view there by pressing O. This game is uh, fairly complicated here. Just learning all the little bits and pieces of uh, how to play this game. Uh, die by the sword. Let's read this. Maybe we'll get some uh, crafting recipes. A word of advice to the badly armed. Tie your knife or shiv if that's all you have to a stick or, or a branch. Now you've got a sword of sorts. Okay. So we've learnt two new recipes. Oh, that's good. So we can learn recipes uh, along the way. There is a yellow dot. Oh, the Red Prince is over there. He was an arrogant bastard the first time we saw him, so... I don't know, we might just ignore him. We might just ignore him. What if there's a secret uh, over here? Any secrets? Can't get out any deeper than that. I guess Los can't really swim. You spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent stare. His skin is of a bright, blood-red color. Could he be...? Yes, you recognize him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. Indeed. Okay, let's let's forget. Uh, let's let bygones be bygones and uh, greet him heartily. The lizard turns about <clears throat> with the graceful ease of a dancer, or a duelist. You lock eyes with his two smouldering embers that sizzle your very soul. I did survive, yes, and chances are I wouldn't have had you not returned to the aid of your fellow passengers down in that dreadful hole. Yeah, I wonder what happened. What would have happened if we hadn't? have gone back down. Would, would they be here now? You have my gratitude. Hand over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. More than a nod, though less than a bow. Yes, I'm sure you've all the makings of a hero and all that, but let's not get carried away, shall we? Nevertheless, one good turn does deserve another, so as far as the whole slave business is concerned, Let's just forget about it. You may as well have your free. <laughs> well, thank you. Now then, if there's nothing further... I'm sure I don't mean to sound condescending, but I had thought it quite self-evident I was gazing out over the waves. He sighs dramatically. Tell me. What do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? Let's go along with the, the Los storyline here. A consciousness. Very good. And the water it may drown in. Life and death. Why not? He looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. As for myself, when I consider this vast expanse before us, I see an empire. I see continents dotted with mighty cities, and shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. What do you mean, what do I mean? I mean just what I say. I had a very actual empire that I lost. Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. Well, don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. Or do you really mean to tell me you don't know who I am? <laughs> I've no idea who he is. Oh, may the seven have mercy on their own creation. I am the Red Prince, the All-Conqueror, the World Tamer, the Spouse of the Sun. Of course you know me. There's a brief moment's pause, during which his grandiloquent pose deflates ever so slightly. 
That said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all conquering and world taming opportunities at the moment. The grandeur that is my fate has uh, hit a bit of a snag. But never you worry. For the throne I was destined, and my throne I shall have. Um, <laughs> do I want to listen to his babbling uh, <laughs> um, if he joins the party? I guess he can come along for a little while if he wants, but um, if I get sick of his constant babbling about being a prince and so on and so forth, um, he Is can tag along. <clears throat> tag along? Do you really mean to compare the fate of an empire to whatever foibles you seek to fix? I do. On the other hand, I really could do with a dog's body. And you've already proven to be trustworthy enough. You came back for the others on that ship, after all. Fine, I accept. On one condition. For reasons I'll not disclose right now, it is imperative that I should meet with a dreamer, one of the mystics of my kind. I've reason to believe one of them may be present on this island. Promise me we'll look for him, and I'll extend you the blessing of my company. Um, I will keep it in mind. You do tend to beat around the bush, don't you? Oh, well, that wishy-washy answer will have to do then. At least he's got some kind of a club there and a shield as well. So now that that's settled, first things first. Even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am... That our swords will be doing a lot of the talking from here on out goes without saying. As a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic and, yes, even subterfuge. What say you? Okay, so I guess we get to kind of fine-tune his character a little bit. Uh, fighter sounds pretty good. Martial experience, maybe like a knight, uh, a little finesse. The arcane arts. I think we need a fighter because uh, Los isn't that strong. She's a witch. Um, I Very think we need well. a fighter. <clears throat> Onwards then to victory or death. The Red Prince nods and gives you a smile that wavers ever so delicately between courtesy and contempt. Now, as you're away, you'll be travelling with a prince. Proper forms of address include oh, your shut majesty, the fuck up. your royal highness. As your luck would have it, I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't be... Of course, there Look, are we're going to leave you behind uh, if you keep up with mind, this crap, buddy. see to it, you'll up the rest as we go. So, without further... <laughs> if he carries on like that, we're going to drop him. <laughs> we'll see how we go. He can, stay, he can stay in the party for a little while, but... Uh, pull your party portraits apart to unchain them. Breaking the chain to unchain them. Oh, I see. Oh, crap. What am I doing here? Okay, let's... Okay, let's go. I guess we should have a look at uh, the Red Prince here. Um, okay, Los's bag, the Red Prince's bag. Okay, they're all in one section here. Firestorm Grenade. Sounds pretty cool. We've got a Minor Healing, Resurrection Scroll, and a Backpack as well. We can open that. We can send stuff. Let's put the potions in here, I guess. We'll put the potions and scrolls in the backpack. They seem to, seem to be able to fit uh, in the bag. I can probably... Uh, Put some stuff in here as well, just to keep the inventory a little bit uh, cleaner. Um, leather scraps. Okay, so let's have a look at the Red Prince here. Do we have any threadbare pants, level 1 leggings? I think we've got some better leggings for him. Uh, we can give him the stained pants, there we go, for the extra armor. He's got a knife on a stick, so he's made one of those. He read the same book that I read about the uh, the knife with the scraps and the stick. Um, 
requires strength 10. Okay, well that sounds pretty good. He's got constitution 13, strength 12. What special abilities does he have? Fire 10%. And uh, poison, 54 vitality, 4 action points. Alright, let's have a look. Um, skilled in geomancy, poison and earth, and skilled in warfare as well. Increases the amount of physical damage. Sounds like something that we need. He's got persuasion. Um, he's an opportunist, sophisticated, and spell song. You get plus one in persuasion. Okay, so... He's a little bit too stuck up for my liking, but he is noble. He's a scholar. A brilliant warrior, general exile from his empire. Okay. And he's a lizard. Right. Good. I think we are... We are good to go.